Welcome Aquarius to your um, Is It Really Over tarot reading. For those of you that are new and joining us, welcome guys. For those of you that are returning, welcome back. And of course, thanks for all your continued support. So as always, the reading that I'm doing here today, it is a general tarot spread. And you know what that means? It probably won't resonate with everyone who's watching and that's okay, right? Please take what resonates, discard the rest. Or perhaps you may be interested in a uh, personal tarot reading. To do so, please feel free to inquire. I am going to list my email address for you all just at the bottom of the video here where the show more section is, along with all the different types of readings that I offer. And you'll find that a personal tarot reading will resonate with you more closely because it is personal and well, um, it will directly relate to you and your situation. Okay, so the reading that I'm doing here today is intended for Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. Okay, and of course for our, our cross-watching buddies as well. Welcome, guys. So let's take a look at the energies and more importantly, the messages that are coming in for you, Aquarius. So is this connection really over for good or is there still um, hope, even if it's just a glimmer? Okay, okay. are you Dunsky or... Not just yet. Let's take a look here. All right, okay, let's do three here. So the Five of Cups, the Four of Swords, the Ten of Wands, the um, High Priestess, the Star card, the Two of Cups, the Sun, the Two of Pentacles, and the Moon. Okay, uh, I'm seeing a lot of duality here in your spread i don't think i can get them all in frame and that's okay we're quite familiar with the cards aren't we okay um all right i'm seeing a lot of duality um, in your spread so what i'm also seeing is that i feel like it's a bit tricky i honestly do and i feel like the duality here tells me that's a bit of a push and pull type of energy so i feel like someone here within the connection um i feel like it's your energy it could be mistaken but hey I'm only human, right? Um, I feel like it's you, uh, Aquarius, that uh, is, I feel like you're the one that's really invested in the connection and you're the one that actually, you know, you want commitment, you want to make, you want this to work, um, you've been putting in a lot of effort, physical, emotional, mental, um, a lot of resources into the, into this connection, but I feel like you haven't been, uh, you're not getting, in, you haven't been, um, getting it back in return like it hasn't been reciprocated here is what i'm seeing i'm seeing a lot of regrets as well here over how the connection has unfolded um regrets over things said things left and said um regrets over you know what went down what didn't went down what didn't go down um yeah and a lot of duality here it feels like a soulmate type of connection or it feels like a twin flame connection but i feel like there's no there's no way for you to be sure because what I'm seeing is there's a part of you, I feel like you're also in two minds about this connection. Like you feel as though this is a connection that you've been trying to make work for quite some time, Aquarius. And right now I feel like it's, to be honest with you, it's, it's, it's driven you to exhaustion. You have, you've been depleted of your physical energy, your mental energy, your emotional energy here. You've given it your all. What is there left to give? I really don't know. Um, the five of cups, someone is regretful here. It could be you. You could be the one that is harboring regrets over this connection. Maybe you feel like this is a sense of missed opportunity. Maybe you feel like, okay, you didn't fully explore the connection. Maybe all you want is just really one last go. Um, you know, uh, give them another, you know, a tenth second chance if you if you want to put it that way but someone here is harboring regrets someone here regrets over the way that they acted or over the things that they've said or they've left unsaid it could be your energy or it could also be the energy of your special someone or it could be that both of your energies coming through here right now i feel like this is you okay right now i feel like there's no communication here or if there is you guys are just you're communicating but it's lacking substance it's just very surface level it's just you're saying you're saying things just to say things, right? Um, Ten of Wands, gosh, you've been, it feels like it's a heavy load here, okay? It feels like this connection is a heavy load. So, which bears the question, right? Is this connection really over? Um, Like I said, you are in two minds about it. There is a part of you that wants to call it quits, okay? There is a part of you that wants to call it a day and say, you know, I'm walking away. But there's another part of you that feels like you can't do that. You've tried, I can feel it. You've tried, but you haven't been able, you haven't been successful in walking away. You do feel as though this, this person is very special to you, and they feel like you're very special to them too. Like, I get a sense like you feel as though this person is your other half, your soul partner, your soulmate here, which makes it all the more harder to walk away, right? 
Um, goodness, I feel like I feel like I want to say that yeah, this connection is over, and I know it's probably not music to your ears right now. It probably doesn't sound that way, but I feel like if you keep if you keep going with you know if you keep going the way that you have been going in this connection, I feel like it's gonna it's just gonna drain you of what little energy you have. Okay, um, with the Two of Pentacles here, the Moon card and the Sun, I am picking up cycles here and I feel like this person either displays cyclic type of behavior or this connection has been going around in cycles. And, you know, if something goes around in circles, it's clearly lacking direction, right? So I feel like, and especially with the High Priestess here, when the High Priestess pops up like this, especially with regards to, you know, a question as such as where is this going or is this really over, she governs mystery here and it's really hard to... Basically, what the High Priestess tells us is that things are uncertain. The future here is uncertain. Like, it's not written yet. Um, it can't be seen. It's veiled by a fog. Um, so, the future lacks clarity, okay? We can't necessarily see what lies ahead for you in, in terms of this connection. Because... Um, because I feel like there's been... Because I feel like the energies are so dualistic. That's what it is. Because the energies are, like... Because you're not certain. It's not like, it's not like yes, I need to walk away from this person, um, but I don't know how to do it. It's not that. It's like, yeah, you want to walk, walk away from this person, but you don't. It's very conflicting energies, okay, which is what I'm seeing. And I also feel like this person makes it harder. They have such a pull over you that it makes it harder for you to walk away from them. Um, goodness, I am getting that. With the sun card here, I feel like... You've got the sun and the star here. So look, I feel like this person has been very special to you. I, I You know, and you've been very special. Um, you have a very special connection um, to them, uh, with them. Uh, they deem you as someone very special. You've, you've certainly changed their life or they've changed yours. Um, but I feel like in order for you to p keep pursuing this and, you know, have it actually go somewhere, something needs to change you drastically as well okay i feel like you need to step out of this hamster wheel that you've been on um and things need to change okay things need to stop going around in circles here because it's it's unfair to you and it, in relationships are about two people okay it's not it's not a relationship if it's just one-sided. It's not a relationship if it's just one person putting in the work. If it's just one person giving and the other person is doing all the taking. It's not going to work. That isn't a healthy relationship. So things need to, if you want to pursue this connection, okay, if you still want to try and revive this connection, try and revisit this connection, um, things need to change. Things need to change big time. Because um, look, you do, look... I sense, Aquarius, that you do have a very powerful connection with this individual. It's a very special type of a connection, and I feel like the future now is uncertain. But um, I do feel like, you know, this person has has been a very big part of your destiny, and I feel like the fact that your paths crossed here was written in the stars for you, but the rest remains unwritten. The rest can be written by you here, and you can write how this story ends here. Okay, because what I'm seeing is, and with the two of pentacles here, like this person, it's like they never fully, uh, it's like they never took the connection seriously, and it's always like you were the one that had to, I feel like this person had childlike predispositions, or sometimes behave childish, um, a bit childlike, childishly here, and I feel like you were the one that had to be an adult in this relationship, you were the one that had to, you know, um, step up here you were the one that had to um put in the effort i'm also seeing maybe finances was a bit of an issue for some of you as well with regards to this um connection and maybe that's also um you know created a bit of um created a little bit of a um a wedge between the two of you okay um yeah i'm seeing emotional and mental confusion with the moon card okay um so i feel like what it's important on the two of pentacles as well like it's indecision you know we spoke about duality and i feel like right now you're in two minds about it you can't sit on the fence aquarius you cannot sit on the fence you need to decide i feel like the advice here is for you to decide um you know if you want to give this a go that's fine no one is stopping you provided you know things turn um 
like things make a turn for because I feel like you know you've been putting a lot of um, energy into this connection they need to put forward the same type of energy okay so look you can't sit on the fence about this connection if you want to give it a go if you want to try and revive this if you want to you know give them another chance or explore this further I feel like you need to get off the fence and you need to make a decision whether it is exploring it this exploring this connection or whether it is ending this connection make a decision and then own that decision okay whatever it is there's no at the end of the day, there's no, I, I feel like, I don't know how this will go down, but I want to say there's no right or wrong only because it's, it's your life, right? It's your life. And at the end of the day, if staying with this person makes it, you know, if they can change and if they can level up here and if they can put in this effort here that you're putting in, yeah, I think you've truly got something special. But if you continue to, to pursue this connection and it continues to be what it is then to be honest with you i feel like sooner or later you're gonna pull the plug that's what i feel that's what i'm seeing but look i just feel like right now a decision needs to be made this two minds this under you know this undecided type of energy this um indecisive uh nature here i feel like yeah this duality here that is coming through i feel like yeah you need to make a decision someone he needs to get off the fence they need to make a decision you're in or you're out you decide and then go from there okay because i don't know for some of you maybe you've given it your all maybe there's nothing left to give with the ten of wands here yeah? for others of you maybe there's still something there maybe there's still something there maybe there is faith and hope after all even if it's just a glimmer Okay, Aqua, that is your spread. So thank you guys for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel, liking, commenting, or sharing. For those of you that are interested in a reading, just email me. Otherwise, take care, guys. I'll catch up with you next week.